Come here. Everyone's sleeping. They're waking up. They're sleeping in. Is it breakfast? Is it brunch? What time of the day it is? It's spaghetti carbonara time. Check this out. <laughs> dish you're ever gonna make. It consists of about five to six ingredients, uh, ingredients depending on what you personally like. So starting with the pasta. Here you know I like the chechos but up here in the Northwest it's hard to get a lot of the good products. Try the Julio pasta. The Julio pasta company is great, beautiful family, uh, personal friends of mine as well. So try the Julio pasta. You won't be disappointed. Second, normally you want to use Pecorino Romano. It's a sheep's milk. That's uh, a, the choice. I'm using Parmigiano Reggiano here. Then you've got your black pepper, fresh grated. A little bit of salt. You're not going to need too much salt because of the guanciale. Guanciale is pig cheek. It's hard to find as well. Pig cheek has a lot of the fat, and that's what you're looking for because that fat is going to bring out a lot of the flavor in it and you can get it out of pancetta. You can get it out of even bacon. Bacon's good too. Last but not least, egg. You're gonna use about two to three eggs depending on your family size. So that's about it. Five, six ingredients. Pasta water in a bowl. Get it to boiling. You're not gonna salt it too much like the ocean like we normally do. Just a little sprinkle, because remember like I said, in guanciale, Pancetta, bacon, it's a lot of salt, so does the cheese. Salt just a little bit. Good. Next, we're gonna take our pan, about medium high. We're gonna add a little olive oil, just a little splash. Get that warming up. Because the bacon or the uh, pancetta or the guanciare is gonna melt down, you're gonna have your fat there. Add our pancetta, a nice fat here. That's what you want. All that's going to melt down, render down. That's what we're looking for. So, as that starts coming up to a heat, we're going to add a clove of garlic hold. Oh, come look, I got some gifts. This here is a Thailand flour cookie mold. This was a gift from one of my friends. I saw her making this with her grandfather in Paris or in France. She got this for me. I saw her making it with her grandfather. Panya, you know who you are. I can't wait for you to show me how this works. We gotta do a video. Also, Rick Blades. He recommended the, uh, the chef shop for me. This is straight from Napoli. And it's uh, Caputo, wheat flour, great for the for the uh, pizza. So I'm so excited. Thanks for the recommendations. Keep it going. All right, what do we got here? Our pan is heating up. You can hear that sizzle. That's good. Pancetta's going. Pasta. Like I said, soften it in the middle and let it roll all the way around. It's going a little hot. I'm not going to turn it down yet. What I am going to do is I am going to add a little bit of Pasta water. Pasta water is going to help with that cream that we're going to make. Stir that around. Nice little sizzle there. And it helps kind of stop the frying. But still, it's melting down that bacon with the water. All right. So I've turned down my heat to about medium. I'm gonna add my fresh grated pepper. Mix that in. My garlic. Add that in. Stir it around. And if you feel like this is getting too well done, go ahead and add you a little bit more of the pasta water. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that, amazing. The pasta is coming together beautiful. It's 
still a little stiff. I'm gonna wait till that's al dente. That garlic aroma. Let's start with our eggs. I'm gonna go with one egg in. That's whole egg. The next two I'm going to do is just gonna be the yolks. So just get the yolk out. You want about two oak yolks. This is where our speed comes in. You only got a moment of time here. You want to whisk this. You want to add your Pecorino Romano or your Parmigiano Reggiano. That's the consistency you're looking for right about there. That's beautiful. Set that aside and get ready to use. Garlic out. That's perfect. Pan close to the pasta, right on in. Heat off. It's okay to get some of that pasta water in there. Heats off, it's still warm. This is where the magic happens. You gotta do this fairly quick. We're not scrambling our eggs. We do not want scrambled. Heats off. You want that creaminess. You're not trying to scramble the eggs. See right here, you want that creaminess in there. A little olive oil on the bottom. A little Parmesan Reggiano. Next time, let's eat.